This is the plaintiff, Antonio Watson. He says he lived with the defendant, and the irresponsible guy had the gas cut off in their apartment, and he had to take a day off of work to wait for the technician to turn it back on. He's suing for $5,000 for missed work and a lost bonus. This is the defendant, Jeffrey Humple. He says he paid his share of the gas bill every month. But the plaintiff played the COVID pandemic card and didn't pay his share to the utility company. Oh, him $5,000? No way. He's accused of turning off the juice. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff and the defendant live together and they are at war over the gas bill. It turns out the defendant controls the gas, actually shut it out out of revenge, so the plaintiff claims. And the defendant is saying, hey, he has done absolutely nothing wrong. It's the case of turning off the juice. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Watson and Mr. Humple, uh, let's start with you, Mr. Watson. Are, are you guys still living together? Yes, we are, Your Honor. Well, this has to yes, be awkward. <laughs> it is. He should be leaving soon. We had a talk with the landlord, and um, he chose to um, vacate. Okay. So tell me what's happening and what brings you to court, Mr. Watson. Well, this is back in July, uh, July 10th, actually. I was working downtown in L.A. Um, I'm a plumber. So I was working downtown L.A., which isn't very far from my house, and um, I decided to go home for lunch. So I left around 11.30, and I noticed a red tag on the door. And I'm like, you know, what is this? So I read it, and it said that, um, that the gas was turned off until further notice. You know, so I was furious. Why is the gas turned off? You know, it dawned on me that my roommate had just left the day prior, and he left on vacation um, for nine days. So it dawned on me that he did it. So I called the um, gas company Furious and um, let them know that I was a plumber and I would get my pipe wrenches and I would turn the gas back on. But um, they sent the technician. I don't think you can, you're supposed to be able be. to do that. So the technician I, I, you know came what, and not. turned the gas back on, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did. So yes. did they tell you why the gas had been turned off? You know what? They, they, didn't, they didn't have... Um, an inclination on why the gas was turned off. They just was sent out there to turn it back on. Okay, and and did they? Did they come and turn it back on? You know what, he did. He came out there and he turned it back on and, and he lit a couple of pilots. Yes, he did. So how long were you without gas? I was without gas probably for about five hours. So, and what, what does the gas control in your house? The gas control- I mean, it's LA July, so we're not putting the heater it, on. It, it, Exactly. So it controls it controls the stove. It controls the stove and, and, and just the heater, pretty much. Square All right. uh, All right. twelve hundred. Mr. Humpel, why was the uh, gas turned off? Okay, uh, the governor announced in February that due to the COVID, because people were getting laid off and didn't have money, they didn't have to pay their bill, that the gas would not be shut off. Because of the okay, COVID. hold on. What did the governor say? You don't have to pay your bill or no one's shutting off your gas? Because those are two different things. Well, the, 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 the actual order, which I went online and looked at, the actual order said that utility companies had agreed not to discontinue service for non-payment. That's a different animal from uh, you don't have to pay. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, that's, that's a completely different yeah, animal. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, so so... Okay, this, this, this announcement came out in February. Uh, I was paying my utility bills every month. I asked my roommate to pay his share, and he told me that he was not going to pay his share to December because the governor said he didn't have to. Um, as far okay. as I know, he wasn't out of work. Who, he was and whose name was the so, gas? And whose name was the gas? Mine. Mine. Okay. So he says that you basically were taking advantage of the fact that the utility wouldn't get shut. It's like saying... You know, if the police are unavailable to arrest me, I can commit a crime. It's, you know, no, just because no one's going to punish you, it doesn't mean you don't still have to do something. So why wouldn't you be responsible for paying, um, especially when the bills are in his name, the other half of the bill that you were consuming, which you had always been responsible for? In December, I um, was laid off from work in December uh, 2019. So as we're rolling into the new year, which is January, um, 
we're getting wind of this um, new pandemic that's hitting um, the United States. So in February, the governor, um, the mayor, he didn't um, he didn't say that because we didn't go on lockdown until March. We didn't go on lockdown until March. The Were you reason, working the in reason, March? The re I, I wasn't working in March. I didn't start back working until late April. OK, so in late April or May or June or July, do you ever pay the gas bill or you just figure, hey, they're not going to turn it off. Why would we pay? I mean, yes, I did. pay the Yes, I did pay the gas bill. I paid the gas bill, the gas bill in July. <laughs> And the gas bill was only like forty dollars when he had the gas bill turned up. And your honor, if he turned off the gas bill, why didn't he so turn the off the gas bill? Was paid in August. <laughs> Wait, everybody, stop! I don't, I don't want everybody talking at the August. same time right now. Mr. Humple, stop! I don't want everybody talking at the same time. Mr. Watson was talking. Mr. Watson, you yes. had paid the gas bill until when? I paid the gas bill. I was, I was current with the gas bill in February. In February, in February, that was the last time I paid the gas bill. Okay, you just said that you had paid the gas bill in July. Now you're saying that it's February, the last time you paid the gas bill? Mr. Humple, when do you say was the last time he paid the gas bill? Okay, um, uh, he paid the gas bill in August, August, in August. So, Mr. Humple, tell me then, how many months had he not paid the gas bill that you turned around and cut off the gas? Tell me about that. Because you did cut off the gas, right? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, from February until July, uh, uh, he wasn't paying the gas bill nor the electric bill. Instead, he went out and bought his fourth car, which I thought was a fourth bit much. Fourth car. Yes, he, he has bought four a fourth cars, car. but he can't pay his bills. Yes, but he can't pay his bills. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay. And let me ask you, is he current now with his bills? No. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me yeah. ask you a question, Mr. Watson. Um, what are you suing for? You're suing for $500 for lost wages. How do you figure? I'm, I'm suing for $500 of lost wages because they, um, the day that I had to spend the time to work for the technician, I had to wait for the technician, I would say, from noon to 6 p.m. He came about 5.30. Why did you wait for a technician? This is to turn on the gas, the meters outside. It has nothing to do with the inside. The meter's outside, but he has to get in the house to turn on the pilots, the gas, the stove pilots. Because you don't know how to uh, turn on a pilot light? It's and, just and the, the pilot light. The water, you don't know how to the, turn on a pilot? And the water. I do, I do know how to turn on a pilot. But, but you know what? Yeah, they you're take a plumber. I know you that. know how to turn it on. <laughs> All right. So, and then you're suing for $1,000 lost bonus due to not meeting deadline. Explain that. Exactly. Well, um, I believe July 10th was on, um, on a Friday. So that Friday, I had to clean up and come home early from work. And um, Saturday, that Saturday, I was supposed to go to work, which I did show up. And all I did was prep. I prepped for that Monday. My job was supposed to be completed Tuesday. And I believe I didn't finish until Tuesday that following, um, that following week. It was just a stress from the text messages that he kept sending me back to back to back to back, you know, for days repeatedly after no, that. What evidence do you have uh, that you lost a bonus that he would be responsible to pay you for? What evidence do I have that I lost the bonus? Not just not meeting the deadline, not not being able to um, to work efficiently, not being able to work efficiently after um, after taking that time off. And after taking that time off, I will leave the day after I just received um, numerous text messages and I wasn't 100 percent to work. Not at all. All right. And then on top of that, you threw in for good measure three thousand five hundred dollars for stress and aggravation. Yes, right? ma'am. What is yes, the I stress did. and aggravation that was caused by someone who has a bill in their name that you haven't paid in four months turning the bill off? Because, see, he's not the, the gas company. He's the guy who doesn't want to get stuck with your half of the gas bill. So tell me how it is that that caused you stress and aggravation. Well, he sent me numerous text messages after um, after I um, after I text him and asked him, why did he turn off the gas? You know, he just sent me in. I have a text message, and this is a, uh, a quote from him, and this is sitting at 7.58 a.m. July 14th, and I believe, I don't know if that was on a Sunday or an or a Monday, uh, and it says, um, just say this stuff to my face um, when I get back, meaning that he was on vacation, and it says, um, you freaking weak piece of crap, um, won't stand up for your own kind, um, the only person... Um, um, that I ever met that is a shame of his color. No matter what you do in life, you will never be white. You're just a piece of, um, sh you know, and that's just one text message. And he sent me several, you know. Did you, did you of, send of that, that type text? Of Mr. Humple? I don't recall. Okay. All right, gentlemen, um, you know, it, 
Oh, by the way, Mr. Humple, did you rent to him? Like, in other words, were you there first and you rented him or does the landlord rent to each of you? No, the landlord, the landlord. The landlord, the landlord makes that decision. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, uh, no, Mr. Watson, you're not entitled to $5,000 because Mr. Humple is tired of you not paying a bill that is in his name. Uh, he has the absolute right to turn it off. How did it end up getting turned back on? Did you put it in your name, Mr. Watson? I put it in my name. I put it in my name. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. And then are you paying uh, your half of the uh, gas bill to him, Mr. Humpel? He hasn't paid it since July. He hasn't paid it since July. <laughs> He's taking the money. Well, so tell me, are you pulling, are you pulling the COVID card? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Taking the money out of the electricity bill, which is a lot more. <laughs> Okay, and he. And, That's and what I did. Now. now he only wants to pay. Okay, I don't now, understand he only wants what to you're pay saying, Mr. Of the electricity. He's taking the money out of the electricity bill that he owes me because electricity is still in my name. I'm about to turn the electricity off, also, since I'm going to okay, be Okay, so he's not paying you electricity, and you're not paying him gas. I got it. All right. Well, mercifully right. for Judge Milian, all Judge Milian has to rule on is whether you get five grand because he shut off a bill that was in his name that you weren't paying. And the answer is no. You are out of gas. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So the judge finds for the defendant in this case, and Mr. Humple is laughing. <laughs> Mr. Humple is just laughing uproariously. Mr. Watson, what do you think about this case? Yeah, be hey, because he's going to be moving, and I have the house. <laughs> it's crazy. You're still together, though, right? You're still there, right? We're not. I don't. I don't. I don't speak to him. I don't speak to him. He's lucky that he's not in. Um, he's lucky that he's in small claims court, not criminal court. <laughs> All right. Mr. Humple, why were you laughing so hard? Because it's such a frivolous suit, number one. And number two, I invited him in this house to take him off the street. And what does he do? He gets me thrown out of the house I invited him into. I mean, you got to laugh to keep him crying. Well, that's one of the best laughs I've heard in a long time. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. All right. It's over, right? Between you yes. guys? <laughs> Pretty soon I will be out of here and he will have to deal with all this himself. Which I'm sure, I'm sure he will have such a ball at. Very good. All right. I understand what you mean. Okay. Hey, Harvey, what do you think of this? Okay, Doug. Well, here's the thing about this. If you have a roommate and you have to figure out who's going to put the utilities in whose name, <clears throat> I think it's a good idea that it's in both names for this very reason. I mean, the fact is that because it's not in the plaintiff's name, the defendant had complete control over this, and the defendant can do whatever he wants. So if you're in a situation like this, and we're talking about utilities, even rent, because remember, if you are on the hook for rent, but the defendant's in control of paying the landlord, you're kind of screwed if nothing happens here. So put it in both names and try to get along. Hey judges, what is your pet peeve about the other? Thanks, from Cynthia. Would you like to go first? No, I, I, you know, my list is so long, I can't really, <laughs> I can only get into some of them. Uh, but here, I'll, I'll start with one. I'll start with one. How is a woman who, is, how does a woman that's so squared away in so many aspects of her life, how is that she can't put the damn cap back oh, on the toothpaste after she brushes her teeth for as long as I've known you, right? I'm yeah. the guy who's got to put it back on and put it away, right? Yeah, is that, is that rough for you? Uh, well, it's not as bad as my second pet peeve. Wait, what's your second is, pet peeve? Uh, you never complained about anything else, really. Well, how many times have I come into our bedroom and you oh. got the dog on the bed, on my side of the bed. You're well, she can't TV, go. I'm on my like, side. I yeah, can't go. On my, uh, she can't go on my her, side. The blankets are down. She's on the sheets, on my pillow, on her back, and I don't know what else. I think so. since the kids have left for college and law school and they're all gone, right. I just, she's so yummy. And like then it's I got to so, pick her up and put her And we never let her sleep on the bed, but then you're downstairs and you probably fell asleep. Yeah. And watching something down there, and she's so yummy, and yeah, that yeah, you're right. I, I gotta start putting her on your side. Okay, so go ahead. I'm ready. You're gonna let me know. Uh, okay. Some of the various and sundry things that make you insane. Okay. When we got married, I asked you to stop leaving the toilet seat up. That the natural position of a toilet seat what? is down. 
Uh huh. Because otherwise, women fall into the toilet. Right. And once we had daughters, you became religious about yeah. it. Because it really doesn't matter how many times Marilyn falls into the toilet. You were not going to have that first time a two year old fell into the toilet. Oh, you I was got healed. You were healed. Yeah. And now that the kids are gone. Yeah, what do I have to worry about? Uh, <laughs> so you're saying there have been a couple of lapses there? Is that yeah, right? but All right. truly, truly, and this may be a little too sensitive, but you uh -oh. have a nasty habit. Are you nervous? No. You should be. You have a nasty <laughs> habit of when I ask you to do something, saying, sure, and you just keep right. breathing or doing what you're doing. Oh, and then yeah. you'll, and then I have the added stress of having to remember yeah. to remind you. Well, that, that first time is just a suggestion to me. That's not really a request. Is it? Okay? You know, just, sometimes, you'll, sometimes you'll say what? What's your favorite I could thing? I can say, uh, suggestion noted. Right? That or, or? Uh, what? I have one of my best uh, guys on it. I say that a lot. And then what do I say? Get a better one. Exactly.